All right. So what would you tell parents who are struggling with children issues such as maybe learning techniques? You explained something about how you talk about the potty in, and you said that you do a lot of parenting and coaching. So what are some of the, the things you would tell parents who are struggling in those areas with their children? Okay, the first thing I would tell them, uh, if they're struggling with any area in particular with their children, my thing is to first assess their children and don't think that their children's level has to be the same as somebody else's child's level. True. A lot of times what I see a lot of parents struggling with is they see that one child is learning something and picking up on something a lot quicker, or they have another child who picked up on something a lot sooner, or some child is that's advancing in one area further than another child's doing. But what you have to realize is that we're all different. You know, right. we can tell that right. we all have different tastes. We all wear different clothing. We all have different interests. And the same thing applies to our children. And so one of the most valuable things that I can say for parents is to not compare Hear your children to other children and you know sometimes unknowingly we do that but the most valuable thing that you can do is look at your child and pay attention to their development pay attention to their interests and pay attention to the things that mean a lot to them because typically a lot of their learning starts from what is already interesting to them what they already enjoy and once you figure that out the learning takes off from there seriously it makes so much sense. I mean, like you said, every child is their own individual. Every child has their own likes, their their own favorites. And speaking from a mother of four, like every single last one of my kids are different. Right. And that's why, and especially with the way that the age is going, like the generation and the way that things are changing in the world, you have to kind of change your parenting techniques up a little bit to not only meet, you know, your the expectations of your child, but also you because you've grown and developed as well. So I know that anytime that I have any issues, I'm like, Whitney, please help me, please. <laughs> No, seriously. And let, guys, let us know if you have any questions. Just go ahead and pop them down there in the chat if you have any questions for Whitney. Hey, Dallas. I'm just going to say hi to some of the people who chimed in. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Elba Carmen. Hey, Jamila. How are you guys doing? Let me know that you guys are here. And if you catch us on a replay, hashtag replay viewer, this is definitely something you want to kind of view, especially if you're a parent or even an aunt or an uncle. It's very important that those people who are in, in children's life all around, if you have a deep connection with them, you want to learn how to connect with them on all kinds of levels, not just, oh, I'm your auntie or, oh, I'm your uncle. Right. It takes a village to raise a child, and I say that all the time, and it is so very true, and I didn't catch on until until I had Parker, because there were so many people who were a part of my life that before I'm like, no, I don't want them to, but everybody has something to offer your child, and as long as you're communicating and you're collaborating with them, like we do here on Girl Power Ignite, then you have that opportunity of growth. You have the opportunity to learn, so this is like so awesome and extremely I guess personal to me because when it comes to our kids like our kids are our future so we have to invest invest the best in our children so if you have any questions for Whitney definitely pop them down here in the chat we're going to come back and uh at well, sorry we're going to come back and ask those questions on the stutter bus today stutter bus struggle bus every bus frozen bus girl oh my gosh all types of nerves going through yes. me today I ain't got my partner in crowd up here with me but it's all good. You're doing your thing, girl. You rocking the thing. It. <laughs> we rocking it. We rocking it. <laughs> so just to kind of move on along a little bit, um, what would you tell that woman entrepreneur that's struggling to follow her heart and you know start a business? What is something that you would tell her? I would tell her undeniable. Can't shake me faith within yourself. And to get that, it takes work. It takes time, but it's possible. But you have to have a crazy type of faith, some type of faith where people are looking at you like, are you serious? You really think you could do that? <laughs> like that level of faith. You really have to have that level of faith in yourself. And it took me a while, even though I had started on the journey towards entrepreneurship, it took me a while to have a certain level of faith within myself because I believe I could, but only to a degree. And mm -hmm. so it takes you believing yourself beyond what you even believe you can do to right. get to where you want to be. So I think the main ingredient is faith. It, you know, you can work, you can do this, and you can do that. But if you don't even believe that you do it, who else going to do it? Nobody's right. going to believe you. So faith. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. Having faith in yourself, most importantly, I think, 
I can connect with that on a personal level as well. I really was limited in my faith and my abilities, but connecting with women such as us, we like connecting together. We all go through those, those motions, through those rounds where we feel like we don't have those faith, that faith. But when you have that faith as an individual, when you invest more in yourself, whether it's praying more, meditating more, reading more, whatever it is, the investment that you take upon yourself will definitely take you to the next level. Again, me as myself, like I had very limited faith. I didn't know I had the abilities. Oh, I didn't know I can touch someone out there. Like when we connected together and we grow together and we go out there, you can do the same exact thing. So just know and trust in yourself. Like Whitney said, no one knows your ability outside of you. And then when you have it, it just escalates. It goes beyond. So you have that un unwavering faith as they would say unwavering faith in yourself knowing that you can do it is going to elevate you and take you to the next level Whitney is proof she did it so can you I mean it's amazing to be out there and just be like I quit my job and now I run a child care business I am the new <laughs> age educator hello you know and she's doing it and she has that that confidence and that faith behind her and a lot of it wouldn't have been done if she didn't rewire her brain, rewire her, you know, her beliefs in herself. And she did that. And so can you. So I'm excited. I'm really happy. I mean, you wrote a book. You wrote a book. Oh, my gosh. Tell us about your book, Whitney. So, um, yes, I wrote a book. Um, it's actually launching March 1st. I'm so excited about that. And so the purpose for this book was to really, really highlight literary skills. Um, I found that there's a lot of gaps in literature and not literature, literary skills. Um, typically, there's children who struggle with literary skills all the way up until third grade. And so these children are behind for years and years and years to come. And I want to help bridge that gap and kind of put a stop to that as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I created a book that would focus in on literary skills and highlight those simple tools and strategies that you can use to improve reading and writing skills. And so my new book has very short words, um, very little sentences, bright colors, all three things that are important for building confidence in reading. When children see bright colors, when children see simple sentences, when children see words that are easy to recognize, that helps them to build confidence in reading and helps them to become better readers because they feel like they can do it. And so that's the highlight and that's the basis behind my book is to help children have more confidence in reading and highlight not only that, but we're also highlighting Black history throughout this book. So it's going to highlight some famous Black historians and tell them a little bit of facts about Black history and all those type of things. So it's a way for me to combine literature and also a little bit of history in the same sense. So. Awesome. That is awesome. I mean, what a perfect time. February, right? Black History Month. We definitely all want to celebrate Black History Month. So it's awesome. And um, like, how can people connect with you? What is the best way for them to connect with you? So if you're interested in connecting with me, I'm everywhere at New Age Educator. Um, you can find out some of my products and services on shopwhitneyb.com. I'm running now for preschoolers. It's an artwork contest that highlights literature, art, and um, you can find out about that on whitneybblackhistory.com. So I can be found on any three of those platforms. I'm everywhere. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere. <laughs> well, look at you. Everywhere. Hear that, guys? Everywhere. So definitely connect with Whitney. You did say something about a contest. So what is this contest about that you're doing? Yes, yes, yes. So I have a Black History contest for the month of February. I am highlighting Black history in preschool. Here's why. I find that a lot of times, by the time children get into elementary school, the only person they know is Martin Luther King. He's great, but there's other people. And so I really want for children to have a basis of African-American history prior to them entering elementary school because they may or may not get it there. And so um, the Black History contest that I created was a way for them to be um, familiar with Black people in history, a way for them to highlight art and do um, art activities, and for a way for them to um, be introduced to literature. So what happens is, they submit their original artwork and then they will be i will choose three people three children will be winners of the contest and then once we choose a winner of the contest they will have a one-page feature in the new book 
and they will also win fifty dollars worth of art project. I mean, art materials. So it's a really good way for children to understand Black history, be introduced to literature, and do something fun like art. That sounds amazing, and congratulations! That is phenomenal. There are people in the comments who are asking where they can pick the book up. I mean, they want to get it. They're like, where can we get it? Whitney, tell us where can we get it? <laughs> so any, everything. Okay, so the book is pre-ordered. We're doing pre-order sales for the book. The book, you can find it at webblackhistory.com. There's a tab there that says the book, and it'll tell you how you can get a copy of pre-order. You can pre-order the sales for the book, and it also gives you a little sample if you want to see a sample of it, how it's structured and how it works. You can also pick up a free copy of the sample, too. So, awesome. BBBlackHistory.com. That is awesome. So, for all of my wonderful people who are out there, this is what Girl Power Ignite stands for. So, you see, ta-da! We are so very happy to be connected <laughs> with so many amazing women. We want to share our platform with you. So if you are interested at all in being a business feature with us on Girl Power Ignite, please definitely connect with us. Make sure you're on the POW list, bit.ly forward slash the POW list. Sign up, register with us, connect with us because we want to connect with you. And it's only going to get better when you become a POW sister when you become a part of the membership because we have so much to offer and you have so much to offer so when we put it together i mean can you imagine Woo! i am so excited we want to thank whitney she is amazing she's phenomenal if you guys have any questions please put them in the comments we definitely will get back to you for all of our replay viewers hashtag replay you do not want to miss it. if you missed it definitely start all over from the beginning if you came in now because it was just amazing information how to parent with a purpose she definitely definitely hit some key points that you're not going to want to miss so rewind and go back to the beginning make sure you guys do that so i am julia wali and this is your girl whitney b and we are so very happy to have the opportunity to grace you with our presence definitely connect with us again on gpi to get connected with the power list bit.ly forward slash the pal list i'm not going to steal a bomb from jamila but i just want to say like that i'm gonna go like this pal Okay. <laughs> so definitely connect with us. We are so very excited for all of you wonderful individuals, especially our women out there who are looking to grow and continue to learn from us. So we love you guys so very much, and we definitely look forward to hearing from you. So Whitney and Julia out. We'll catch you guys later. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>